We're out here in the uh, Mojave Desert in a 2022 Toyota Sienna minivan and we're off-roading it. Uh, you may be wondering why in the devil are we off-roading a minivan in the Mojave Desert? Well, the answer is it's fun, but more importantly, uh, it's uh, able to do so. And today we're going to explore uh, the off-road capabilities of the 2022 Toyota Sienna. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, again, we're out here in the uh, 2022 Toyota Sienna flying off-road in the Mojave Desert. Uh, just to talk about it, you know, this these uh, minivans are capable of going off-road. And uh, as you can see here, we're on a sort of uh, sandy, gravelly type of hard packed dirt road. And we're gonna be hitting a few other um, uh, roads second here but the idea of today's video is to explore you know what can this thing do off-road now you know let's let's get right to it the Toyota Sienna obviously is not going to be doing any type of heavy-duty quote-unquote rock crawling or anything like that but um, you already knew that the point that I want to make is that there's more than one type of off-roading and, and a lot of times when people say off-roading they think oh it's this um, you know, it's this extreme type of, <laughs> you know, rock crawling and, uh, you know, boulder climbing and things like that. And it doesn't have to be that way. The fact of the matter is, there's three, well, really four grades of off-roading. And every trail is marked in the real world with a rating of either easy, moderate, difficult, or extreme. And without a doubt, the Toyota Sienna can uh, off-road the easy trails and some of the moderate trails. Now we should point out that the vehicle I'm in is a 2022 Toyota Sienna. They're all hybrids now. And this is the front wheel drive version. This is not the all wheel drive version I am in. So keep this in mind as we go along here because if you do have the all wheel drive version, you're actually going to do even better than I'm doing right now. Uh, and you'll be even more confident off-road. But the reason why we're using a front-wheel drive version today is to talk about uh, something interesting, uh, and that is the uh, traction aids available on this car when you do go off-road. You're gonna have these traction aids whether you get the regular front-wheel drive version or you go ahead and get the all-wheel drive version. The tires on this vehicle are all-terrain tires. We swap them the stock Falcon street tires for Falcon Wild Peak AT3W tires. Uh, so these are all-terrain tires. They're not regular street tires. And in a car like this, when you're taking a, mini man, a minivan off-road, <laughs> you're gonna want all the help you can get. So if you do plan to go off-road in your Toyota Sienna, or you happen to live off-road like we do, uh, every little bit helps. You may wanna consider uh, all-terrain tires. So that's the uh, first disclaimer out of the way. We're on all-terrain tires. With that said, it's only going to help this car really about 10%. It's, you know, don't think all-terrain tires are making this night and day difference as I'm flying around here. It's, that's not the case. It will help in uh, loose surface situations. Uh, but, but again, every little bit helps. Let's talk about the traction control heats in this vehicle because that's going to be the only thing that is really going to help you off-road and something that you should be conscientious of and it's not really discussed a lot. Again, this applies to four-wheel drive, or excuse me, the all-wheel drive Sienna or the two-wheel drive like I'm in now. But uh, you have two traction aids on this vehicle, okay? One is the um, VSC or Vehicle Stability Control. And that's basically when you, you know, your oversteer uh, type of traction aid that's mandated by law. So that's called VSC, Vehicle Stability Control. And that will cut the gas when you're in an oversteer situation, like when you're turning. And the, the vehicle's computer literally reads your steering angle sensor. In other words, there's a sensor in the steering wheel that can tell if you're turning or not and what angle and uh, what rate uh, that you're turning at. 
by reading the vehicle's yaw rate sensor. That's how much you're turning this way, how fast. In other words, the rate at which you're going off of the 12 o'clock position or you're deviating from the 12 o'clock position. That yaw sensor along with your steering angle sensor and vehicle uh, uh, wheel sensors is going to be your VSC. That is, uh, will help you both on and off road from oversteering like this, but it's not going to, oh, here comes the vehicle. See, we can do what the big truck does. What's that? Is that a Dodge Ram, Ford F-150? You could do the same thing in your scene. Anyway, let's get back to um, more importantly. So along with the VSC, you have a uh, system known as the uh, track system, T-R-A-C, in this Toyota Sienna. Now, not a track, but track. And track is essentially what's going to help you in this car off-road and something you should be conscientious of it because you may, you, as a matter of fact, you, you'll engage it when you're off-road and you want to know what to do in that situation. But let me explain first what track is and that is it's essentially uh, mimicking a limited slip differential. Now in this car again we only have uh, one drive, uh, you know, one axle driving the front. So basically track makes a front axle on this vehicle behave like a limited slip differential. And what that's going to do for you off-road is allow you to s slip, slightly slip a wheel <laughs> uh, or come into a situation where you, uh, you're gonna lo you're, where you lose traction, but it's, it's also going to limit the amount of slip, thus sending power to the opposite wheel that has more traction. Uh, if none of that makes sense to you, it's basically going to try to keep your wheel that uh, is hanging off the ground from free spinning a bunch. That's what happens with open differential. So the track system is there to uh, help mitigate that situation. And when you off-road a Toyota Sienna, uh, like we're doing today, you may find yourself in a similar situation. Oh, that was fun. You may find yourself in a situation where you're going to hit some soft stuff and the track system is going to activate and you're going to need to know that A, it is indeed activating, uh, B, what that means, and C, what you should do. So you know it's activating because there'll be a light on the dash that'll flash. You might hear some noises of the uh, ABS uh, system going off and that's basically breaking the, the slipping wheel and sending power to the wheel that is not slipping. So that's what's going to help you off-road uh, when you get into these uh, tricky situations in the Sienna. Now what do you do when that happens? Uh, you, uh, the, you don't freak out, don't panic, but instead just give it some steady gas, some steady acceleration. Don't do anything that you wouldn't uh, normally do, you know, think to do in that situation. In other words, that's a little bit of bad. Let me let me back up and say that when that light starts flashing, don't freak out. Just keep steady pressure on your accelerator pedal, and you're going to be a okay. And that steady pressure on the accelerator pedal is literally the system doing its job. So don't freak out. It just, mine actually just flashed right there. So when you find yourself in a situation off-road and you see the thing freaking out on you and the, and the, uh, the uh, track light going on or the VSC logo, they're really one and the same. So on, this, on the Sienna you have the vehicle with the squiggly line. That will go off for either a VCS activation or VSC activation, excuse me, or a track activation. So when you um, are off-road and that's going off, it's most likely a track activation and you just want to keep your excel your your steady pressure on your pedal and allow the track system to do its job. Now, obviously, this is not a Forerunner or a Land Cruiser or a GX460. This is a Toyota Sienna. However, do realize that Toyota's track system is very, very competent in mimicking a limited slip differential on your all-wheel drive uh, Sienna, this is going to do the same thing on the rear. So you're going to have like limited slip front and rear differentials. But the most important takeaway
from this video other than the obvious, which is you're in a minivan, you don't have clearance, you don't have articulation, <laughs> all those things that you are already know. The main point uh, I want to get a, uh, take away, I want you to take away from this video is to trust the track system, to know what, know what it's doing, know how it does it, and know how to stay active in it. So if any of that rambling made sense, you got to know that your, your Sienna is, that, that light is a limited slip differential doing its thing. Come on, Jeep, get out of my way, buddy. Okay. I'm a Sienna here. <laughs> so you can do what the Jeep does. So the light right now, as I'm going over these bumps, is kind of going on and off. And that is the VSC. Let's go down this road. Let's see what's up this way. Did we go down this way yet? Now here's a rut here, you know. I mean, I know the camera flattens everything out, but there's some stuff here. And it's this no wheel spin. And, you know, I really want to rave about this um, track system in the Toyota. People don't realize, you know, what this track system is. This is not your, you know, your um, your your grandmother's or your great aunt's traction control system from the 80s. This is literally uh, mimicking a, a uh, limited slip differential. So as I'm going up and down these hills and I, and I too get a wheel that loses traction and comes off the ground, I don't feel it. There's no wheel spin, there's no rrr, but the light comes on, but the, the forward momentum is absolutely kept and you just see all right through it. But key to that system is trusting it. And that's what I want to get it off, is trust the system. Just keep steady pressure on the pedal, and you will see this thing sail through situations it shouldn't be able to sail through. So that's the bottom line here. That's the bottom takeaway. That's what I want to make different about this video. Again, you're only going to be able to do uh, easy trails and, inter and some intermediate trails. And yes, you can do all this stuff in two-wheel drive and go off the road here, you know, for a second like I'm doing here. Now, here's some ruts. Don't freak out. You're going to do just fine going on and off. And the traction system, known as track, does its thing. Now, if we didn't have this track system, in other words, if we were in a normal, quote, open diff, old school Sienna that didn't have the track system, what you would hear in the situations is this this whir every time a wheel got off the ground. And make no mistake, as I'm going around these 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 roads, I know it doesn't look extreme, uh, but there are there are these situations um, that the Sienna is getting in where a wheel is coming off the ground and and losing traction and it is slipping. And if it didn't have the track system, it would whir, it would struggle, it would do all these weird things. But the thing just goes. So make no mistake, you know, these tracks and systems are not um, afterthoughts. They're really good traction systems. They're not Mickey Mouse traction system. This is the track off button or traction control button. And again, that's the logo, the uh, car with the squiggly line there. In order to turn uh, traction off, hit it once and it'll say traction control off which means track is off so now your limited slip differential uh simulation or mimicker whatever you want to call it is off if you want to turn it back on just hit it again and then it just goes back on hold it for three seconds and then that will turn vsc and track off so now you have both off you would need this, you might want to uh, turn both off in a situation where you're in snow and you need uh, lots of wheel spin and you want to rock the vehicle back and forth. That's the logo there, that's the track logo and the VSC logo. Again, uh, you know, that that is going to, uh, a symbol like that is going to go on whether it's uh, VSC alerting or track alerting. There's no differentiation, but after a while you'll learn what which one's going on uh, when you're doing what, if that makes any sense. Again, obviously this is not a Land Cruiser, <laughs> but uh, you can get further off-road than you would think if you know what the track system is doing, know the difference between VSC and track, and trust the track system when it engages and know how to keep it engaged, which is to just keep your foot on that pedal. I know I keep repeating myself. I just sail through it. You'll be surprised. 
the only way to, to test this out is to get out there and take it out like we do. We have no choice. We live off-road. We've tested this a lot, and it's amazing what this thing could do for a front-wheel drive minivan. The only reason we didn't get the four-wheel drive, or the I should say the all-wheel drive version of this Tiana, is because they had none available at the deal. I'd love to try that. But remember, off-roading is not about extremities. There's different grades, and you can absolutely get your butt off-road and enjoy yourself safely out here. And you will be surprised what this track system does. It's not a Mickey Mouse system. This is a limited slip differential mimicker, and it does a great job off-road. So get out there, try it out. Let me know what you think. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, subscribe. Thank you, and have a great, great day. Thank you.